Oh, sorry, it's me. There is you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've glazed over because I know exactly what's coming next. It's the final part of the show. Chef Aoife Noon is treating us to red velvet cookie sandwiches. I'm sorry, yes. I'm already distracted by them there sitting on the breakfast bar. These sound gorgeous. Are these your own invention? Yeah, so red velvet cake is a classic kind of chocolate cake, which is actually just red because of the addition of red food colouring. That's all it is. And traditionally, it's iced with a really nice kind of cream cheese frosting. So I've turned it into a cookie. We're making red velvet cookie sandwiches. So it's a really straightforward cookie dough, really, really simple. I'm using my trusty mixer as always. Soft butter goes in with some sugar, caster sugar, and they just are creamed together until nice and soft. Can I ask a question? Do we yeah. need to have that butter out of the fridge for a while before we do all this business? I always do. I always like to kind of keep, if I know I'm baking, I'll have butter left out. It just makes it much easier to kind of cream together. It takes less time. You're not standing there beating with a wooden spoon for, you know, ages. So it just really helps. So in there, uh, so we're just creaming that together for a second till it's nice and creamy. Okay. And we're going to go in with an egg. So meanwhile, I'm going to just chop some white chocolate. I'm going to add white chocolate to these cookies. It adds a really nice kind of sweetness. Um, so it's a, it's a chocolate cookie, essentially. Um, we're going to put some cocoa powder in and also some white chocolate kind of just chopped up like that. So and that's ready to go. What white chocolate do you favor? Or um, there's lots of different brands I like. I like Valrona chocolate, which is a really lovely brand. I uh, worked with them a lot um, when I was a pastry chef working in restaurants. Um, and it's got really kind of lovely milky taste. So if I was to kind of buy a white chocolate, I would always try and buy a good quality white chocolate. Um, just because a lot of the kind of commercial bars have just a lot of sugar in them. And white chocolate actually, it shouldn't be really sickly sweet. It should be nice and kind of creamy but and that's milky. A, that's not specifically a cooking chocolate, is it? No, it's, no, yeah, I wouldn't use cooking chocolate the bar. ever. Okay. Oh. Ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> no, it's Hard not real thin. chocolate. It's okay. just lots of additives and other things. So try and get, if you're cooking with chocolate, try and kind of go for, you know, a nice bar. So in there, I've got my um, butter, sugar, and egg, and it's nice and creamy. So then I can add, oh, I'm going to add some vanilla, actually, because I really like vanilla in these. And I'm also going to add my red food coloring. Now, like people, I know a lot of people don't really like food coloring or, you know, they don't want to add the food coloring. To be honest, it's really personal preference. Um, the food coloring is just to kind of give it that red tinge for the classic red velvet color. Mm -hmm. So is, I associate red velvet with like the States and wedding cake. Yeah. And things like, is that where it came from? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like an Americanized um, cake, but really it's just a chocolate. Um, yeah. It's just you know, it's color. just chocolate with red food colouring. So if you want to leave this out, you absolutely can. It just won't look like kind of red. Yeah. Okay. Um, Either way, so. we'll eat them. Don't worry, you. Uh -huh. And then in with, I'm going to pop in Ooh. some flour. So I'm just going to sift this. Actually, I'm going to sift all my dry ingredients together because that's just much easier. And the vanilla used was obviously vanilla extract, was it? I have vanilla extract. Not essence muck. Muck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I prefer using extract. It's just actually extracted from... Um, Vanilla as opposed to being I, I essence, just, which is artificial. I, I just okay. want both of you to know that vanilla extract is feelings. Yeah, and we you just apologize called it muck, on behalf so. of extracts oh. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you did. So I'm just sifting in uh, into my bowl here some cocoa powder, some flour, and a little bit of bicarbonate of soda. So that just gives it a nice kind of lightness and a bit of a lift. So I'm just going to pop all of that in there. And I'm going to throw my white chocolate chips in as well. So in these terms are of optional. the texture that this cookie is going to be, obviously we can't get over to you and taste tonight, but is it going to have a chew to it or is so it So they're crispy? really lovely and soft, gooey. I like a cookie that's kind of a little bit crunchy on the outside, but really kind of soft and gooey in the middle. And that comes down to the baking time as well. So if you slightly under bake your cookies, they'll be a little bit chewier and a little kind of gooier. Okay, so that's mixed together. It should then essentially rest in the fridge for about 10 minutes. It just makes it easier to roll. And then you're left with this kind of ghoulish looking kind <laughs> of uh, red um, kind of cookie dough. So I'm just going to roll it into balls. It's helpful if you've got gloves and then you don't stain your hands with the red uh, food coloring. But it's just uh, roll it into balls, about a tablespoon size. So I'll just do one or two here just to show you. Um, and 
they just go in the oven then for about 12 minutes. I like to cook these and that gives them the kind of soft, perfect kind of chew. Um, and I just leave them to kind of cool on the tray. So they go in at 190 degrees or if you're using a fan oven, um, 170 degrees. So, so I just line a few trays and kind of pop them in. So okay. they look like that. So, so they're not going in in a cookie shape? Yeah. yeah they're going no, in no, like no. That. And they will flatten down and they will kind of spread out a bit. Okay. Um, so for the filling, here's some I have baked earlier, of course. Um, so you see the way they spread out there. They go from that kind of ball shape to, to a nice kind of cookie shape. Gorgeous, um, really perfect. nice. Um, lovely color as well. They're not really super red like you probably would expect. Um, so the filling, really simple. It is butter, some icing sugar, and some cream cheese. And I'm just gonna cream them together and then sandwich my cookies. And that's it. And it's, it is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> how long? Sorry, remind me again because I, I might have missed it. It goes in the oven 170 degree, degrees for how long? For 12 minutes. 12 minutes. That's okay. it. Yeah. I mean, you can cook them a bit longer if you like a, a crispy cookie, but I just love a soft, gooey cookie. And they'll stay kind of soft and chewy for a few days in an airtight container as well. Is that? That's it. Um, that's filling kind of your go-to topping for cupcakes as well. Yes, it's really nice on cupcakes as well. You could do the same with, uh, you could make like a red velvet cupcake and, you know, instead of it just being chocolate, you could add a little bit of um, mm -hmm. red food colouring and make a cream okay. cheese frosting for the topping and that's it. Absolutely delicious. Um, you are uh, helping out a very special charity at the weekend, Aoife. Yeah. So on Saturday, I'm hosting a cook along um, for Bumblance. So Bumblance is Ireland's first and only uh, national ambulance service specifically for children. So they provide an amazing transportation service for sick children um, and children with life limiting conditions. So we are teaming up and we are hosting a bake along, a cook along. Um, all of the information can be found on uh, their website or their um, social media. Uh, Instagram and Facebook. Their handle is Bumblance. And it's just going to be a really fun cook along. We're making cookies, different types of cookies, and some cupcakes. So it's a really nice cause. Uh, well, really great cause. It, it's, it, it's a great, great thing you're doing. Uh, I know that you're busy uh, piping the uh, cookie sandwiches. There are some oh, over there that. already ready they made. Look and they look absolutely gorgeous. If you missed anything, you can get Aoife's recipe over on our socials or rewatch it on YouTube. Just search for VMTV Food.